Richard Scary, good night, little bear. It is time for little bear to go to bed. Mother bear closes the storybook. She gives little bear a good night kiss. Then over to his big fur, furry father runs the little bear. Wee! Father bear swings his little one high up to his shoulders for a ride to bed. What? And duck your head, calls mother bear just in time. And into the little snow beds bedroom they grow. They go. The tiny bedside as Father Bear sits down. Now into bed with you, he says. He he waits for Little Bear to climb down, but Little Bear doesn't move. He sits up on his father's shoulders and grins. Father Bear waits. He yawns a rumbly yawn. Is Father Bear falling asleep? No. Suddenly, his eyes open again. Why, I must have had been dreaming, says Father Bear, pretending to wake up. But what's this? There's no furry head on the pillow. Where could Little Bear be? Father Bear looks under the pillow. Nobody there. He doesn't see, seem to feel something tickling his ear. Aha! There's a lump down under the blanket. Father Bear pats the lump. But it doesn't squeak or wiggle. Can it be Little Bear? Why, it's the toy teddy and the blue bunny waiting for Little Bear to come to bed. Mother, that naughty boy is hiding, says Father Bear to Mother Bear with a wink. Maybe he's hiding under the kitchen stove, says the mother bear who loves a joke. Bang! Bang! Father bear rattles the po pots and pans on top of the stove. Little bear, I'm coming to get you, he roars. Father bear reaches under the stove. He feels something soft and furry. Is it, little bear? No, it's only father's old winter mitten. Way up high, Little Bear claps his paw to his mouth, but not in time. I heard that Little Bear laugh, says Father. Now where could he be hiding? Is he standing outside the front door? I'll turn the knob softly and fling the door right, door open wide. No, there are no bears out there, just a family of fat, of fat little rabbits nibbling lettuce in the garden. Shoot! snorts Father Bear. Something is hiding in the wood box, whispers Mother Bear. Creep over there on tiptoe and you may catch Little Bear. Eek! There's just a wee little mouse hiding in there. There's nobody up high on the china shelf. Ouch! Little Bear bumps his head. Who said ouch? Asks Father Bear. Mother, did you say ouch? Not I, smiles Mother Bear. Oh, she is a teeth. Now, where is that naughty bear hiding? He wouldn't run away. Not, not a little bear who's always hungry for chocolate cake. And that big daddy bear cuts himself a huge piece of chocolate cake right under the, the, right under the little bear's nose. Little Bear suddenly feels hungry. But just then, Father Bear stops smack in front of the mirror. Why, there he is, roars the big bear. But you couldn't find me, squeaks Little Bear, reaching for the chocolate cake. Whee! Off Daddy's shoulders and onto the sofa. Bounce, bounce, bounce. What is, wasn't that a good hiding spot, Mom?
No one could find me up there. But I found you now, said Father Bear. The little bear wiggled and giggled under his daddy's strong arm. All the way to bed. Did I really fool you, asked Daddy, asks little bear. Father Bear just laughs and winks. <laughs> Do you think Father Bear knew all the time? Richard Scary's Good Night Little Bear. Duh and...